Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing my sixth update for my Pan Matte Palette for 2018, which if you haven't seen my series yet, is the Marc Jacobs Style Icon Palette in Lolita. Since I didn't really make a whole lot of progress on this palette, I'm just doing a quick update today. I really only hit one of my goals for this path month. Path. I only hit one of my goals for this past month so I thought I would just jump on and do just a quick overview of what I've been able to accomplish and what I'm looking to do. I did take a bit of a break from this palette once I got back from my trip and it's not a bad thing to take a break from a palette especially if you've got new things coming in because you can always come back to your palette with fresh eyes and fresh determination. So before we jump into what my palette looks like right now let's go ahead and cue the slideshow of the progress I've made so far. And here's my palette currently. So as you can see, we do have some new pan in the palette in our metallic shade right here in the middle. Just a little bit of pan. So I had three goals for this past month, which was to get a nice dip in the brown shade, to hit pan on the glitter shade, and then to expand the pan on every other shade. I've been focusing a lot on the glitter shade. I honestly haven't really touched the rest of the shades because I was focusing on that one, and by doing that, I was able to hit pan on it. But now that I've done that, I think I'm going to step back a little bit from this shade and then from the palette a little bit more just so I can get some new inspiration, some fresh eyes, but I am so excited that I now have pan in all the shades but two. Once I hit pan in every shade, I think I would be incredibly excited because I think that was my original goal at the beginning of this project since I had never purposefully panned anything before. My original goal was just to hit pan on every shade and I'm almost there. I'm at the point where I think now I could probably actually finish this up by the end of this year, which is really, really exciting, especially for a first project. So that was my only progress for this past month. I'm going to, like I said, take a little bit of a step back from this, but I do want to focus on just expanding the pans in the glitter shade and then these two shimmer shades right here. So I'm gonna set the bar a little bit low for this next month just because I know I will be experimenting with some new palettes that I really want to do videos on and just really actually like put to the test. So this one probably won't get as much love over the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out the playlist of my Pan That Palette for the entire year. I'll throw that up in the cards right up here so you guys can check it out. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.